200 calorie protein pancakes oh, is today's food for thought live video my name is Jodie Bunting this is another one of our health tips to help you today enjoy pancake day so yes it's Shrove Tuesday this is a protein pancake Aldi are selling pre-made protein pancakes sold out never even seen them in the store because they're flying off the shelf so i'm going to show you today how to make your very own protein pancakes with two ingredients that is it you only need two ingredients those ingredients are eggs and protein powder any protein powder that you've got it can be slim fast it can be uh, nutri shake whatever protein powder you've got you can make these protein pancakes roughly about 200 calories guys so 200 calories for one of these protein pancakes and we're going to make it right now so the first step is to pop two eggs into a jar so if you don't want to use eggs if you want to make the vegan version I would recommend using silken tofu. So silken tofu is your alternative for eggs. And what you need to do is then just give that a little whisk. So whisk up your two eggs. Now we want nice, light and fluffy pancakes. So make sure you've got a little bit of air in there. And then you just need one scoop of protein powder. Now I'm using chocolate protein. I'm also using, to be honest, the best protein powder money can buy. This is by Arbon, and it's a pea protein. So it's a naturally vegan protein. And all you need to do is just to mix up your two eggs and your protein shake to make the batter. And that is it, guys. Do you need anything more simple and to be honest with you, I think this is the real secret to losing weight, is actually just to keep your nutrition plan really, really simple. Uh, and that way it is long term, you're able to stick with it. Now you really need to mix this up. Now if you are making protein pancakes for the family, what I would suggest for you to do is to use a a liquidizer or a food mixer or something just so you've got no lumps and bumps but you can see that more or less is starting to look like a batter which we want for our pancakes so I'm going to give that a little bit, a bit more uh, what I'm going to do now I've got my frying pan you can't really cook sweet things with olive oil you can if you really like olive oil but what I'm going to do is use coconut oil Okay, so a little bit of coconut oil, slam that in there. Now make sure your pancake, your pan is not too hot. Uh, because to be honest with you, I've had to cover up the small burnt bit on my pancake with those berries. It actually looked like that. That's actually fine. That's really nice. But make sure your pan's not too hot. So, we've got our hot coconut oil, the good thing about these pancakes, you can see, it's actually risen, it's almost like a little muffin, so really important to get the air in there. Now this, by the way, this mixture will make two pancakes, so that's why it works out as 200 calories. If you want to have this as your meal, you can have the whole mixture, and obviously that's 400 calories with your topping. So when your oil is nice and hot, you just want to put in your mixture. Now don't put in too much, because as I said, you want to make two pancakes, and this will rise up as well. So. I'm just covering my pan. I would also suggest to use one of these uh, smaller pans if you've got one. Obviously, if you just wanted to make one big pancake with a, a normal size big pan, then that is also an option. 
Now, why that's cooking away, I'll go through the toppings. What I've used is some fresh berries. So I've got some raspberries and blueberries, which to be honest with you, practically zero calories. There's hardly any calories in berries, guys. So that's the good news about using those. Then I popped on the top there some 100% chocolate. Now this is 100% cocoa chocolate, guys. So it's really bitter, but it's really strong in flavor. So you literally need just a couple of those on the top there. And then just to give that back its sweetness, obviously if we're doing this in the summer, those berries would be really sweet. But because it's not the summer, berries aren't sweet at the moment. So what I would suggest you do is to get some honey or some real 100% maple syrup. So those are your two options. Forget all that maple syrup sauce, forget uh, golden Lyles, um, golden syrup, all that stuff, guys, is really processed. Go for a natural uh, syrup, something like maple syrup or honey. If you wanted to put some nuts on seeds to up the protein, that's fine. To be honest, you don't really need it because you've got the protein from the protein powder, the protein from the eggs or the tofu in the vegan version, and that is Bob's your uncle. Right, now that's cooking along nicely. Now I'm not going to toss it because I want this to be perfect for you, but you can see by the consistency, that's a perfect colour, and you can also see that it is actually rising up a little bit now, look. So again... The lovely mixture is combining with the egg, and we've got a lovely texture. The little bit left that I've got in my jug, I'm just mixing it in, because I can just see where the protein powder has not mixed in with the egg. So that is more or less done. Just going to get a spoon so I can get this out. Hi Claire, hi Pat, hi Anne. Well done Claire, are you enjoying your guilt-free pancakes after legs, bums and tums this morning? So there is my pancake, lovely and done. So I'm going to serve that on my plate. And then I'm going to put the second pancake in while we decorate that first one. As I said, don't be shy with your mixture. Use every little bit up. And as I said, it will slowly move over and fill your pan. If you prefer your pancakes thinner, you can add some water to this mixture. And obviously it will just make it go a little bit further. And they won't be as puffy. Okay, so here's my pancakes. What I'm gonna do, Claire's saying she's jealous, looks delicious. Well, you know, this is what you get for going to Buxton College, slaving in that kitchen all them years. So I've got my berries. I'm also gonna throw on some 100% chocolate. And as I said, those aren't really bitter. So the other thing that you need, if you're having 100% chocolate, is some honey or some maple syrup so i'm going to use maple syrup and just put a little bit of that on and there we go guys so that is your 200 calorie high protein meal if you love pancakes like me have two instead of your meal and you've got your fresh fruit you've got your protein you've got all the nutrients you need happy pancake day